first world fighter coming up from the red corner, Kevin Flanagan! Kevin Flanagan has a definite style. He has both of his wins via guillotine, representing Melton MMA. So he's great at grabbing necks and getting in the finishes. But he is currently on a skid. He's lost his last fight. He's got to look at getting back to winning ways. This British title does not change hands easily. We're just moments away from seeing how Kevin Flanagan has prepared, how he's developed his game, and how he's responded from those few losses. UFC written across his chest on his custom-made t-shirts. It's obvious that that's the direction he wants to take his career in. Can he take one step closer tonight as he meets James Switchhale from First Reaction? Uh James Switch Hale from First Reaction. And he is currently 2 0. He's got, a, he's got a rear naked choke first round victory, as well as a stoppage in the third round by a ground and pound. So he knows he can get it done with James Hale. He looks very rangy. Very tall for the weight class, nice and lean. It's going to be a battle of different body types momentarily. Taking his final instructions. First reaction, MMA. I guess the first reaction is to fight. The second reaction is to win. James Hale doesn't need to be told that twice. division so far tonight. James, James Hale, Kevin Flanagan gonna be in the target line of Ben Hodgson, who's just had an incredible first round showing. How will they respond to the welterweight division being put on notice? This battle is a welterweight division and we'll be fighting, fighting for the, for the British, British Championship. championship. James Hale, the dangerous one. I can already tell from Kevin Flynn and then warming up that he's going to come out southpaw. He is going to be the slightly shorter fighter with a little bit of a disadvantage in the reach. James Hale's hands almost reach his knees. Look for Flanagan to try to get inside. He's an incredibly powerful looking fighter. They touch gloves and both come out southpaw. A lot of movement there from the Melton MMA fighter. Hale leads off with a leg kick and is backed up by the jabs. Flanagan's had an interesting amateur career, Steve. He's 0-6 in his first six fights, just feeling it out, lots of decisions in there. And then won his last two and looked on an absolute tear, fixed all those holes and mistakes. Oh, both guys swinging for the fences. 
Ooh. James Hale, 2 0, undefeated, coming in, always so composed. Oh, oh with big, the big shot! Kick. And the kick behind it landed a lovely left hook. Mm. It was a very close to a head kick on the floor. It very much was, but that left hand landed absolutely flush. I saw Hale's eyes roll back as he went down. Yeah, you got to respect the power of Flanagan. How long before Hale is back? Has all of his wits to him. And like you said, has Flanagan just been able to build up? This is what, that's what I thought we'd see from Hale, Steve. You know, that maybe first reaction, that very technical school, always polishing the details. Flanagan's had moments where he hasn't looked as such a technical fighter. And I knew that if James Hale could not turn this into a technical fight, he could probably have a big advantage, not a slobber knocker like we saw for the first 30 seconds. Yeah, that definitely didn't benefit James Hale at all. I was saying, Chris, that Ben Hodgson will be watching this fight very closely because it's the British welterweight title on the line, isn't it? Is that the guy that pulled off that awesome guillotine earlier? It's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And we've got Hale being clinical as he drags that knee across from half guard and is in mount. Flanagan just holding on here. We know he has guillotine victories, but this isn't the place to shoot him from. No, Hale, such a beautiful mount there, the feet tight. Knees wide, keeping that balance, posturing up, not overcommitting to the strikes and getting bridged off. And there he pries Flanagan's face off momentarily. Oh, sneak to the back by Hale as... Oh, that was absolutely perfect. I think he's under the chin, Chris. This could be over, Steve. That is all, you're, just like you say, under the chin. Flanagan's desperately trying to stop that second hand. 48 the seconds to go. The squeeze is coming in. It's all over. It only takes James Hale two minutes and 15 seconds to get it done. By rear naked choke. He did have to eat a big left hand. Ooh. Flanagan, he had absolute nuclear power in his left hand, and he put it flush onto the chin of James Hale. James Hale spat it out, took him down, started the ground and pound, and Flanagan had to give up his back and the rear naked choke. Hale did well to shoot that arm right underneath the chin. Just incredible awareness there. Flanagan was powering out, trying to get to his stomach there. Flanagan said, okay, I'll just take you back instead. Now I'm saying I want to see a Ben Hodge and James Hale fight. Ooh, but we got some gold coming in. Ooh, brand new MMA Battle Arena belt designs, folks. Get your own only here at MMA Battle Arena. Referee, Mr. Alan Jackson, Jackson called a stop to the contest at two minutes, minutes 15, 15 of the very first round. round. Your, your winner, winner and new British champion, champion by a real naked joke, joke, James Hale! James Hale soaking it in there with his corner team. The sweet glory of victory and the agony of defeat all in one there. There was, some, there was a very good moment there from Kevin Flanagan. I know he's got to be kicking himself, but it was a, just a sweet clip, grappling clinic there from James Hale. He is dangerous, that's for sure.